Welcome back guys to Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story the Remake. As you can see today we are going to be having a beach day with the bros. It's a much needed day because we've spent this entire game inside a belly of some nasty villain. So it's about time we get some fresh air and enjoy our, ourselves a good old sandy day on the beach. So make sure you drop a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. By the way, just really quickly let's point out here uh, all these giant things that you see. These are just teeth and as you can see there's cavities in these teeth so this is a lesson to everybody here including myself brush your teeth uh i mean as an adult you know i'm not gonna lie i still kind of struggle with brushing my teeth every night before going to bed i'm just lazy that's all it is realistically it's not that i don't want to it's i'm just lazy but i guess that's not wanting to do it because you're so lazy you don't even want to do something is important is brushing your teeth so Okay, wow, something just happened right now and I had to pause the game, which is why, as you can see, I'm being attacked by these things. One of my friends ended up just walking in unannounced in the house and I knew for a fact that the house was empty, that I was the only one in the house. So it really started freaking me out because I just heard stomping. I'm like, someone's in the house and I'm recording a video. So I had to just like stop talking completely to uh, make sure if it was like a killer or something, you know, they don't know that I'm here. You know, I'm not about to die live recording a video, you know, and the sad part is you guys wouldn't watch it. We wouldn't be able to see it. Not that I would want my death to be kind of like online or anything, but it's just weird to think about, you know, that's kind of what was going through my head. So anyways, real quickly, I was reading the comments in yesterday's episode and someone had mentioned that they want me to cut or to post or to... Uh, make the top screen as well visible during battles because I guess in uh, the overworld the battles are a little bit more interesting when it comes to like the top screen because there's more to it and you know the scenery is really nice you don't see it right now but I do I see the beautiful scenery on the top screen so I was just wondering what do you guys think should I make like uh, the overworld battles duel I mean it's really simple all I gotta do is just switch the layout a bit and uh, you know we can have top screen i'm sure most of the comments will end up being yeah go ahead man do do so i'm gonna probably just do it anyways but i'm just asking just in case and to also give you guys a heads up that you know we might be doing dual screen from now on for just the top screen battles but yeah let me know what you think Woo also in the news in sully pones news i posted a really cool photo to instagram remember i told you guys a couple of days ago that i was getting this really cool package in the mail that my brother spoiled for me and uh you know that package came in the mail so i went ahead and i posted a photo on, on my insta so if you want to go ahead and check it out you know go to instagram and follow me while you're there and uh you know also if you have twitch and twitter go ahead and follow me there as well because uh, i'm gonna be using twitch i'm going to la next week i'm gonna be experiencing the beach in real life for realsies uh and it's gonna be nice because i'm i'm so ready to get away from this cold i've absolutely hated the cold weather here like for some reason this summer the cold and i haven't been getting along it's just not really my thing this year. Usually, I'm all for it, though. Like, I'm always all for the cold. I like the cold weather. I enjoy my four seasons, which is why I always preach, hey, live in the Midwest. You could experience the four seasons and all that good stuff. But, nah, this year, I'm just like, get me out of this place. I actually remember when I went to Orlando, like, a week ago. You probably didn't know that because, you know, you don't follow me on the gram. But when I went to Orlando, like, a week and a half ago, a week ago, the weather was so nice, man. The, even the place that we were staying at had a pool in it, so we were able to go swimming. And, you know, it, it's been like a, a good while since I went swimming. And that's just due to the cold. You know, unless you're filthy rich and you have like a house with a pool in it, you know, then you could go ahead and afford to swim every day, regardless of the weather. But, you know, not everybody's fortunate to have that. Uh, so, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. We have a clubhouse, which is pretty nice, I guess. It's a shared pool by the whole community of, like, I don't know, thousands of homes. So, and the summer it gets pretty packed, but it's still pretty nice, you know? You, you, you learn to share the space and be respectful, I guess, to other people and all that good stuff. I don't know where I'm going with this, to be honest. Uh, having your own pool is, is what it is, bro. It's, it's where it's at. It's what's needed. How come I can't make this jump anymore? What the heck? Am I really? Okay, it's because I'm always jumping a little too soon with Luigi. It's because I'm focused on Mario, you know, that I'm not even focused on Luigi's jumps execution properly. All right, we're going to just stop right here, take a little pit stop in between. 
but you know I'm like I said I'm moving to LA I'm going this weekend or this week to look for a place and uh, we actually have a place approved we just want to look for other places to ensure you know we've we've picked the right place the best choice so once I get there you know that's when I'm gonna start streaming and I'm super excited uh, this island kind of reminds me of the giant turtle in Majora's Mask in the Great Bay area you know that giant turtle the one that takes you to the temple that's what it reminds me of because it's on a beach and it's just a giant piece of island it looks like an island from a distance but this also looks like a turtle from a distance let's go this way though I'm not trying to fight any of these guys can these guys actually fight me while they're down there hopefully not oh they can they could literally spit viruses at me bro no no Nah, 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 brother, nah, brother, just chill, leave a brother alone, don't come near me, don't touch me, I don't want anything to do with you, but this is what they meant by climbing, we gotta climb really high to meet the next, uh, what you call them, they call them sages, my brain almost farted, let me see, so here's a real quick question, I was wondering, if you guys could have any Game Boy Advance game remade, what would it be and why? Uh, it's actually funny that I asked that question because for me, I would have definitely picked uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and they actually made it and I would have picked that over Minish Cap because I wanted this game to be a complete series where all the games were on either 3DS or DS and it looks like they were actually leaning towards making them all on 3DS so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe a year from now Nintendo just decide out of charity and the kindness of their heart to gift us a Partners in Time remake that would be great I mean that would be really really great and I think it's cool that even uh, and uh, like LPs like Chuck Conroy right now are LPing wait was he is he LPing Partners of Time no he's LPing Phantom Hourglass he LPed uh, Partners of Time years ago but when like older games are like being shed on like light like that it's nice because maybe that would help Nintendo influence like influence Nintendo to like hey maybe we could do something with this because I don't know why they decided to remake uh, Mario and Luigi it, or about or the superstar saga to be honest with you guys like when you think about it it wasn't necessary but it's cool that they did it you know and same thing with this game this game was completely unnecessary everybody praised bowser's inside story it was even more praised than the 3ds titles and they looked way better like significantly better than the ds ones so to see like this getting a remake just like that it shocked us all Believe me, I was really shocked because I thought after Dream Team, then that was it. Or after Paper Jam, that. Or, I mean, the remake, we were done. But, you know, like I said, I'm keeping my hopes up. But to answer my own question, if I could pick any GBA game uh, to be remade, I would definitely pick The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. That's my favorite Zelda game uh, aside from whatchamacallit I guess not really favorite anymore after I played Majora's Mask 3D and after playing Breath of the Wild it's definitely not my favorite it's my third favorite but it's my favorite GBA game for sure and my third favorite Zelda game and my favorite Toon Link style Zelda game so to see that game get a remake would be oh my god that would be amazing that's when I'd re LP the game but maybe I'll re LP it just you know for whatever purposes like let me know if you would watch that like if you would watch me play the legend of zelda the minish cap again i mean don't watch my original lp trust me if you want to really cringe hard go ahead go by all means go watch 17 year old sully pones play minish cap when he was trying to get into commentating <laughs> It was pretty bad. It's horrible. That's I'm not deleting those videos ever. Even though to me they're so cringy, I will never delete them because th those videos are the videos that people ended up watching, and those are the videos that ended up like getting my my channel and stuff started. So to me, it's just like I can't delete those. But then I did go back and I deleted so many LPs of like me cursing in them. I mean, I just don't want to have profanity. Plus, it, it, it doesn't help with, like, ads and promotion on YouTube and whatnot. So, I'm like, you know what? Might as well just do it. So, do I got to, like, knock this? Uh, what? Okay, so... I'm supposed to do something with this. What does this do? Uh, what the heck? What's the point of having this? Am I... I'm probably not even supposed to be in this area, am I? Probably not. I mean, it doesn't look like there's really a whole lot I can even do here. So I'm probably just going to leave. 
Uh, some of you guys are telling me if I go back and I talk to that lady um, in Dr. Toadley's office, she'll give me like bro or attack pieces. I'll do that like eventually. I'm not gonna backtrack now just to go ahead and get something. It's not worth it for me. There's a bunch of enemies here that I'm skipping. I totally feel bad for doing it, but I'm gonna come back on my own time and fight them because there's a lot of them, unfortunately. But it looks like all that's blocked off. So it's cool to see like the world. It's not accessible to Bowser or the bros completely. Both of them have limitations and you could see that as you play through the game. They put up like barriers, for example, rocks that can only be broken by Bowser, uh, trees that can only be burnt by Bowser. Hey, you FYI bird, shut up. I'm sick and tired of hearing you talk. Cliff is to the west. Ah! That's what he reminds me of. That's how he would sound. That's why he's annoying to me. Like without even like getting to know him like that. I just, I feel like he's annoying. I'm going to go ahead and save though. This place looks awfully familiar. Let's go ahead and explore it real quickly before we make our way to Cliff. Uh, this is a... J oh, Brook Madame's house. Or, uh, it's not Brook Madame. No, wait, yo! It's Kuzzle the Koopa! I remember you! I recognize you! Yes. Mm, Master Roshi of the Mario and Luigi games. That's me, yes! You what? Oh, I'm Kuzzle. Kuzzle Koopa! Who, me? I just told you. I'm Kuzzle. Did I say that? My ears aren't good. You can't tell by looking. I bet I used to be called a sage. Whoa, you were the sage? No way, Kuzzle. There's no way. Who's on the puzzle? What? Oh, you came for a puzzle? Boy, I am fond of puzzles. Young folks today, they can't be bothered to use their heads, but when I was on the taught, puzzles were the hippest of the hip. You try to solve a puzzle faster than anyone else you would. Speaking of trendy tots, young folks today, they can't be bothered to use their heads. But when I was a tot, puzzles were the hippest of the hip. You try to solve a puzzle faster than anyone you would. Speaking of trendy tots, young folks today, they can't be bothered to use their heads. But when I was a tot, puzzles were the hippest of the hip. You try to solve a puzzle faster than anyone you would. Speaking of trendy tots, dude, shut up! What? What? What was it? <laughs> right, I was talking puzzles. Wonder if you guys can do it. You see me, I make the puzzles the old-fashioned way. I am trendy attack pieces. I tried puzzling them up, but the uh, thing is, if I make them a puzzle, I can never seem to finish it. You want to give it a try? Sure, go ahead and give me your attack pieces, bro. Mm, let her rip! Like a Beyblade, I guess. Ooh, cool. This is a real puzzle. Okay, cool. So I guess we're doing another one of these in this episode. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so, oh, the thing is on, it's showing me the image that I need to make. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's put that one there. Uh, let's rotate this. Let's see if I can do it. Like, you know, this, this Cuzzle Koopa guy, he inspired me, you know, back in his day. Oh! So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be just like him, the hippest of the hip, brother. I'm trying to do this one. Uh, no, this is gonna be. There's white. Okay, white. That means it's gonna be like here. No, it's gonna be like here. Uh, uh, maybe here. Okay, there you go. Okay. Not really going, you know, so fast, but hey, you know, we're doing what we can. That's what we, that's what we do when we doing what we can out here, guys. Uh, let me just, you know, do the corner pieces, I guess. That's probably be the, the easiest way to do everything is if you just shove the corner pieces all together. Uh, oh, I got it. It's going to go up here. There you go. And then I can get this piece actually real quick. It's going to be a red piece. So it's going to be not this one. It's this one right here. So rotate it this way. Boom. Oh, get in there. Okay, cool. So I got this red piece that goes right there. And then we got this one. This one obviously is going to just slide in right there. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that voice. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm not making fun of anyone particularly. I'm just, you know, acting stupid, acting a fool. What is this? Mm. There you go. And then we can move that around, put that one there. And then, uh, 
Hmm. Hmm. Let's put this here where it belongs. And so we can put this one here as well where it belongs. Then we can also put the greens where they belong. And this one right there, as you can see. And then this one we can put here. And then uh, with this green, we got to rotate it actually a little bit like this and squeeze it in. And then we grab the yellows. We got a lot of them here. As you can see, I'm assuming this one's gonna go a little something like, uh, wait a second, let's not do that. I'm being hasty right now. I'm being a little hasty right now. And then this is obviously gonna be this little spot. And then this here is gonna go right here. And then we got we got this right here. And then we got this right here. And then uh, we can put this in the middle because obviously that's where it belongs. Something like this. Wait, wait, hold on. There you go. Ah, these puzzles, bruh. Okay, we'll put that there. Uh, move that. There you go. And then we got four more pieces. There you go. And there you go. And then. <laughs> Oops. And then the final piece. We did it, guys. We got ourselves a puzzle. You know, Cuzzle Coops, I'm not as quick as you, but I did what I can. So, you know, cut a brother some slack. Ooh, you did it. She's done. Yes. Congratulations. You are a dart. <laughs> yep, my puzzle is turned real and completed. Ain't that a wonder? I told you, I might shrivel me now, but I was once a sage. Well, I guess you taught me the attack pieces more than me. For me, just seeing that there puzzle done is a reward enough. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. See, you know, he's getting old. He's getting wise. He's giving away his stuff. He's not about the materialism anymore, but we got a new attack, guys. It's called Spine Pipe. You can now use Spine Pipe. Yes. Let's demo it, of course. So Mario and Luigi get inside a pipe and stomp enemies as it spins. Try to predict who's on the bottom so you can press the corresponding button. Let's watch the demo. Boom. There's actually a little more to the rules, but I didn't read it. Okay, so if it starts out, uh, it's gonna be, oh, 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 okay, let me try this. Does it actually tell me? Because if it doesn't tell me, that's gonna stink. All right. There you go. How was I supposed to know it's Mario? Uh, you gotta really look at it and guess. It's one of those games. If you think it's Mario Press, hey, if you think it's Luigi, watch the pipe closely as you decide which button to press. So yeah, it's one of those games. You gotta literally focus on two things. Where the Marios and Luigi's are, and then also uh, pressing the A and B buttons at the correct time. It's one, yep, it's one of those. I'm gonna be practicing all of this, like I said, when I fight the enemies in the nearby town because there's a bunch of them. Well, I'm sure you young tots are busy and all, but gosh, any chance you want to hang around with this old court? <laughs> Thing is, I ain't got nothing here but an empty old house. Yep, just a bit ago there was what you call an incident. Since then, I try to keep the place pretty empty, you see? But the edge to splurge is strong in me, tots. Get me a little plush furniture, you know? Problem is, all my furniture turned into bottle pieces and scattered on the beach. The thing about them is that they're not sealed away exactly, but they are hidden. Yup, all over Black Beach, lots of them puzzle sacks. Complete them puzzle tots, and this house will be a wonders. How about it? Doesn't it sound difficult to do now, does it? I got a reward call. Sure, I'll fork over some of those beans I got here. You know, them precious beans, your stats. You know, but I'm getting ahead of things. You go and get them puzzle sacks. Don't you worry, Tots. I'll just wait as long as I have to. I don't think you got much time to live, my boy. Oh, you want to know where them sacks are? I will need all the general areas to tell you the truth. Well, mark them down on my map. I'll take them. I'll take whatever you can show me, my boy. There's one way there. Definitely here. Maybe here. Maybe here. 
probably might be over here. You don't go looking for them if you need to hear them locations again, just ask while your move starts. So that's what I'm going to be doing, my boys. But in the next episode, what do you want from me, dude? Do you need to hurry and find the third cure? You do. The third sage is atop the high cliff. Wait, so this guy is not the sage. He keeps saying he's a sage, but he's not. But he might be a sage because I think I think that's how it goes. I mean, Cousin Koopa, we shouldn't sleep on him. That's all I got to say. So anyways, my dudes and dudettes, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.